Nature shows the changes of four distinct seasons. Culture and tradition in this beautiful country have become richer through the centuries. Spring, when cherry blossoms are in full bloom, things start moving in Japan. Summer. You see green mountains against the blue sky and you enjoy gentle breezes. Autumn. Leaves turn to red and gold reflected on the surface of mountain streams. It's harvest time. Winter. Melted snow flowing into the river. Paper, a traditional handicraft, was first introduced from China about 1700 years ago. As the years went by, the quality of paper was greatly enhanced. Using pure water and the generous gifts of nature, the dedication of hard-working people made this unique contribution. Washi, delicate, handmade Japanese paper. In the early days, washi was commonly used for writing, drawing, and making ceremonial decorations for shrines and temples. As paper was considered valuable at that time, it was treated very carefully. People cut and folded paper to make sacred ornaments for weddings, funerals, and other religious occasions. These ornaments were then donated with the giver's best wishes. Later on, paper became more widely used in people's daily lives. For example, paper was used to make household goods such as shoji screens, fusuma sliding doors, paper lanterns, paper fans, and so on. Also, origami, the art of folding paper, fulfilled an important role in making toys for children. Origami is an art that people can use to express love and best wishes by making things for others. In today's world, you are surrounded by huge buildings and people working hard day after day. You hardly see children playing in the city parks anymore. They are busy with their homework or playing computer games. You can show them that there is a wonderful world they can play in without computer screens or batteries, using only paper.
Paper can be a magic tool that people from all over the world can use to communicate and overcome the language barrier. How wonderful it would be if young and old could feel the same joy from making something together. Yes, it's like when you open a karakuri bako, a magic box. Origami karakuri bako. Talking Crow. Turn the paper over. Fold the paper in half to form a triangle. Open it. Fold one side to the center and do the same with the other side. Then unfold. Fold the opposite side to the center and do the same with the other side. Now turn the model over. Fold down the tip to the top. You will find two pockets. Place your finger into one of the pockets and pull down to form a triangle. Do the same with the other side. Fold down the upper side. Turn the model over. Fold into half. Pull out one inner triangle to the side and make a straight line here. Like this. Do the same with the other triangle. These two outer triangles serve as the wings. Fold both flaps down to one side. Unfold one flap. Now we'll make the beak of the crow. From the still folded flap, fold up to make a small triangle. For the opposite side, the same way, like this.
Here is the beak, like this. Fold the whole origami to the back. Be sure to crease the beak thoroughly. And now you can pull the bird's wings and see the crow talk. Balloon. Fold in half to form a rectangle. Unfold and refold in half the other direction to form a rectangle. Turn the paper over. Fold in half to form a triangle and then unfold. Do the same with the other side. Naturally, the paper forms a mountain shape, like this. Fold the first right flap to the top and the first left flap to the top. Turn the model over and do the same thing, like this. Rotate the model so the point is toward you. Fold front flaps to the center. Turn the model over and do the same thing. Carefully insert the flap into the pocket like this. Do the same with the other side flap. And now turn the paper over. Do the same thing. Insertion is difficult, but try to insert properly. It's very important to make your folds carefully and clearly. Now spread out the sides.
blow through the hole at the tip. Here is the completed folded balloon. Jumping Frog Turn your paper over and fold in half to make a rectangle to form a square. Fold the top flap in half. Crease thoroughly and unfold. Now, make a triangle and unfold. Make a triangle from the opposite side and unfold. Bring the side folds to the center. It forms a large triangle, like this. The inside looks like this. Next, the bottom part. Fold up in half. Fold the flaps of the triangle up like this to make the front legs. Next, fold the right side to the center. Fold the other side the same way. Make firm creases. Fold in half again. Fold down to make small triangles. It becomes more difficult to fold. Please crease thoroughly. Hold the tips and unfold and flatten it. It looks like a boat. Now fold both tips down and out like this. This makes the back legs. Next, fold up at this line tightly. Fold down in half. The paper becomes thick and you must press strongly to make clear folds. If you make a wider fold at this point, you can make a frog which can jump farther. If you make a narrower fold, at this point, you can make a frog which can jump higher. Or, if you fold the back legs to the inside, the frog can jump much higher. Here are some ways to enjoy your jumping frogs.
pigeon. Turn the paper over. Fold in half into a triangle, and then fold in half again. Unfold it to the first larger triangle. Fold the bottom up so that the size of the remaining triangle is one third of the total, like this. To make the wings, fold the sides upward so that the edge of the wing meets the side point of the triangle. Fold the model in half. To open out the wings, fold the triangle in half by matching the upper and lower edges, like this. Do the same with the other side. open, and to make the bird fly, hold the model between your forefinger and middle finger and toss gently. Here's the completed pigeon. The way you fold the wings and the way you toss the bird affects how it flies. これはですね日本に古くから伝わるですね折り紙の数々ですまだまだいっぱいあるんですけどもその一部です素晴らしいでしょ紙にはですねすべて目があるという、まあ、私たち生活の中に使っているティッシュですねこれにも目があるんですさあ目はどっちでしょうかね試しにやってみましょうまあ、まっすぐ切れましたねどちらかですね今度は逆ねあら隣切ってみましょうねあら切れないでしょということはこちらに切った方のがきれいに裂けることということは紙の目はこうだってことです昔から伝わる紙和紙作りを例にとりましょうこれは全ての紙にも言えることなんですけども水を上下に通りますでしょそうです。水の流れに沿ってですね、紙の繊維はですね、ほら、一方的にですね、方向性を持って絡むわけです。この折り紙一つ取ってもですね、紙の目があるということなんです。じゃあ、どこに紙の目があるか。あ、持っていましたね。ほら、こちらの方が素直にカールしましたね、こういうふうに。ということは、紙の目はこうだってことです。ですから、このように折って、飛行機を飛ばすと遠くへ飛ぶということなんですこのいくつもある飛行機みんな紙の目を計算しておられているんですよカにはですね和紙と用紙があるわけですまあ和紙と用紙折り紙でもですねこのような素材を使い分けることによってですね、違った効果があるわけです。和紙は当然手で作りますので、手ですくわけですから手のぬくもりがあります。自然があります。用紙はそれに比べてですね、機械ですくみます。ですからどうしても硬さがあるわけです。また素材はですね
和紙の場合は長い繊維で疲れてます構成されてますから引っ張っても強いというなかなかちぎってもちぎれないですね和紙はそれに対して洋紙はですねどうしても短い繊維ですから脆いですから折り紙を折る時ですね弾きちゃったりですねちぎれやすいまた和紙の場合はですね、まあ、それだけ柔らかいですから特に指の脂肪ですかねあま油気のなくなったちょっとご高齢の方なんかですね指をよく切るということがあるんですよ紙を折り紙折っててねそれがですねまあ和紙の場合はそういうことがないですねですから安心して折れるということぜひお試しください。Peekaboo Tortoise. Fold in half into a triangle. Unfold and refold in half the other direction to form a triangle. Unfold. Turn the paper over. Fold in half to form a rectangle. Unfold and refold in half the other direction to form a rectangle. Naturally, the fold lines flow inward and form a smaller square shape, like this. Fold the side corners slightly inward, like this. From the bottom, fold the top flap up. Make it the same size as the side triangles. Turn the model over. Fold the top flap under, leaving a small triangle showing, like this. This is the tail. To make the tortoise's face, first tear off the top corner like this. Next, draw the eyes and nose. Now, as shown, Slide it onto the two exposed white paper folds located under the tail. Next, rub the two white paper folds back and forth several times. To make the tortoise's face peek out, To make your tortoise look real, draw his shell. Here is the completed peekaboo tortoise. Sumo wrestler. Turn the paper over. 
fold in half to form a triangle and unfold. Do the same with the other side and unfold. Fold each of the four corners into the center. Repeat this step once more. Turn the model over, making sure that a corner points toward you. Fold the upper edges to the center, making sure that the flaps behind are not included in the fold, like this. Fold down from the tip. Automatically a triangle comes up. Remember, when folding, crease sharply. Turn the model over. Fold up the lower triangle, like this. Fold the model in half. Fold down this tip of the triangle to make the belt. Here is the completed folded sumo wrestler. When you play with it, place it on top of a box. To make a strong, well-balanced sumo wrestler, make a wider fold for the belt, like this. Look at these origamis. They're really pretty. I like the rabbit a lot. Yeah, that's cute. Look at this little mobile, all the little details. Wow. That's amazing. That's Look at the red horse. It's very pretty. Oops. Yeah, I like it. The saddle. It adds a lot. Yeah. The flowers are nice. Yeah. These are so neat. Wow. Say beautiful? Yes, they're very beautiful. We're having a party at our house. Would you come and teach us some origami that everyone can enjoy? I love to. Thank you. Thanks. Heaven and hell. 
Heaven and hell, Hi. out of paper. <laughs> こちらを出すわけです。こういう感じ。大体半分からですね。スーッと切り落とせ。さあやってみましょう。あ、切っちゃいましたね。おお。うん。Oh <笑> <laughs> it's beating. <laughs> it's... Oh. <laughs> Shall we start? Yeah, yes. let's start. Oh. Thank you. 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 になりました。うちの中心、この屋根ですね。この線とこの中心を合わせましょう。後ろはですね、折らないで跳ねます。こちらも同じようにしましょうね。あ、もうハートができる。はい、こういう感じですね。角を折ればハートですね。ハートでし
do the same thing with the other sheet of paper. With the first rectangle, fold the left corner up, fold the right corner down. Note that the two triangles must be facing in opposite directions to each other. Do the same thing with the other sheet of paper. Crease sharply. Now you have two models. Place one sheet on top of the other, like this. Fold the triangle into the center three times, one after another. For the last triangle, insert the triangle into the pocket, like this. Remember, the paper is getting thick. It is important to crease firmly. Make a hole in the center and push a match stick through from behind. Here is the completed folded spinning top. Flapping Bird Fold in half into a triangle. Unfold and refold in half the other direction to form a triangle. Unfold. Turn the paper over. Fold in half to form a rectangle. Unfold and refold in half the other direction to form a rectangle. Naturally, the fold lines flow inward and form a smaller square shape, like this. Place model in front of you so the corner faces you, like this. Fold upper flaps inward to center fold. Turn over and do the same thing. Fold 
fold the upper triangle back and forth to make a crease line. Unfold to reform the small square. Bring up the upper flap and form a large diamond shape by retracing fold lines like this. Do the same thing with the other side. Make careful and clear folds. Next, we are going to make the tail. Fold up one of the separated flaps to the center crease line and unfold again. Open the side and make a reverse fold like this. Note the tail continues the line of the center fold line. Next, we're going to make the neck. Slightly fold the tip of one of the separated flaps and make a reverse fold. Notice that the angles of the neck and tail are different. Make inside reverse fold to form the head. With your left hand, hold the base of the neck and using your right hand, gently curve the wings like this. While still holding the base of the neck with your left hand, gently pull the tail with your right hand. The bird's wings flap. Here is the completed folded flapping bird. The art that can be created with only one piece of paper. Its intricate workmanship is as wonderful as that of the Karakuri Bako, the magic box. From adults to children, from children to other children, New relationships are created in paper. This is the best way for people who speak different languages and have different customs to communicate and learn to respect each other. Origami can be an interesting and rewarding hobby for senior citizens. It can also be very useful in rehabilitation programs of all sorts. It is said that the relationship between the fingers and the brain is closer than that of any other organs in the body. It's marvelous to see sick people brighten up as they concentrate on making the object of their choice. Origami is an enjoyable craft that young or old, male or female, any age or any nationality can enjoy. There is no end to what you can do with origami. You can be an artist limited only by your own imagination.